The color balance module features a slider called Contrast Fulcrum. And I needed to talk to Aurelian to really get an understanding of what that was and what it was doing. Let's explore. Let's go. Hi, and welcome to episode 94 of Understanding Darktable. A few episodes ago, we were looking at something. I don't think it was the color balance module. I think it was something else, but it had the, the fulcrum slider. And I made reference to whether or not it was moving the input output point up and down or whether it was moving it left and right. And I wasn't entirely sure. So I wrote to Aurelian and I said, mate, can you just, you know, give me some edification here. Exactly what is that fulcrum doing? And he wrote back to me and he said, the Y equals X curve, in other words, the red line, is the nothing happens curve. In other words, output is equal to input. In the second curve, which is the blue line in this animation, C is contrast and the F is the fulcrum. There's no slope. There's no S curve. It's a power function. So the fulcrum is where the contrast curve is equal to the nothing happens curve. In other words, it's that point at which input and output are equal. And as we adjust that fulcrum, that point at which input and output are equal changes. The animation should make clear why it's called fulcrum. As you move the contrast slider, you should see the curve move around that point. Notice that the curve affects the dynamic range by remapping the white point. So let's just play with this animation for a second. So input of 0 0.5, if we follow that up to this point here, it translates to an output value of 0 0.5, exactly as we would expect. If we then move the fulcrum, we can now see that our input value of 0 0.4, if we follow this up to the point at which it crosses over and then come across here, we can see it's an output value of 0 0.4. But you will notice as you adjust this fulcrum that what is happening to the blue line is that it doesn't terminate back at a point where input and output are equal. No, it's disappearing off the top of the graph. And so what that means is that as we lower this fulcrum, our white point is getting brighter. Now, I will confess, it took me a little bit of scratching my head and trying to come to terms with this. But if we jump over to Darktable, I've got an image here of Aztec from when he was a pup a long time ago, and we have a look at the color balance module. We've got the contrast fulcrum and the contrast slider. Now, if we adjust the fulcrum without adjusting the contrast, nothing will happen. Okay, no change to the image whatsoever. So let's just set that back to 18. Now, if I increase the contrast, now remember what happened in that animation. As we moved the fulcrum to the left, our white point was getting brighter. So if we move the fulcrum to the left here, look at our histogram. The white point gets brighter, exactly as the animation would have suggested. And as we move that to the right, the white point gets darker. Not by a whole lot but it does get a little bit darker, or at least it gets closer to a value where input and output are equal. Okay, so let's just jump back to the animation and see what happens when we mess with the contrast. So as we lower the contrast, the slope of that curve gets closer to our original red line of output is equal to input. So our white point is going to change less as we move the fulcrum, okay? It still moves, but not by as much. As we increase that contrast, then 
the fulcrum has a much greater effect on what happens to the white point. So let's explore that in Darktable and see if that's how it works. If we set our contrast to be much lower in value or closer to zero, then the fulcrum has much less effect. But as we increase the contrast, that fulcrum has a much greater effect. So hopefully that makes sense to you that the contrast fulcrum basically acts like a turbo boost for your contrast slider. So as your contrast gets increased, the fulcrum makes the alteration to the white point all of that much greater. That's what I have taken from the animation on that website that Aurelian pointed me to. So hopefully that makes sense, and I hope this has been useful in some way, shape, or form. Alrighty, questions, comments, feedback, sing out down below, and I will catch you in the next one.